the ensembles, you have time to support a small business. I am the host and creator, VP Harris, and I'm sitting here with a self-taught, talented artist. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi, my name is Kathy Jackson, and I'm the owner of Deja Hue Art. Deja Hue Art is a paint and sip studio located on the south side of Chicago. Our motto at Deja Hue, if we can paint it, so can you. That's a great model. That's so catchy. I, I hope y'all caught that. I definitely did. But Deja Hue. So I became familiar with Deja Hue. I want to say about 2017. You all um, did your painting sip sessions at the Black Women's Expo. Yes. And it was a great time. Everyone who came enjoyed. Like we had so many positive feedback about what you all do. But some of the people know it's not just you all are not just like a regular paint and sip. No. It's much more. So can you tell us? Certainly. So Deja Hue is not your ordinary paint and sip. In addition to hosting paint parties here in our studio, we also offer virtual paint parties. So while we're located on the south side of Chicago, we touch the world. Our mission is to bring art to the masses. And then following that, we have recently um, created digital downloads of our paint and sip so that you can, in the privacy of your own home, have an artist lead you step by step through the process. So we came up with the concept because once people experience a pain and sip, it brings out their inner artist. Like that artist, your third grade artist that you were, but you forgot because you got busy with life. And so I've had a lot of people who they like to do the paint parties, but to have to formally pull a group together or get a girlfriend, that's not always possible. Plus. They have found that art is very relaxing. And so it's kind of a zen moment with you, your paintbrush, and your canvas. But the problem is they're not like, like trained artists, and so they need a little help. So we were able to put the digital downloads so that now you can download them. And again, in the comfort of your own home, you can do it with girlfriends. It can be a date night, or you can just simply zone out. That is so cool. That's so cool. Especially some people are very nervous. I mean, I know I've been to some painting sims myself, and some people just like, I give up. I don't want to do this. Where's the wine? That's all I came here for. <laughs> yes. So now to be able to do that at home, and like you don't have to worry about any ridicule. You like literally in your moment, like you said, in your mm -hmm. zen. That is That is so unique. So you all know where you need to come. When you stressed out. You need to relax. Deja Hue is where you come. But how did this all get started? Because I know, like, because like I say, no, I'm pretty sure people watching, they never heard of anything like that. So how did all of this, you know, everything, all the components of Deja Hue, how did that come about? So the idea of going into business, entrepreneurship, it started while I was in corporate America. I had a 20-year career as an HR professional. And... Um, I felt very stuck in a place that I didn't want to be, in a place where I felt like I wasn't seen or heard and where, honestly, my genius wasn't valued. However, I didn't know what to do. And so I knew that I needed to do something, hadn't quite figured out what it was. And then on in 2015, I attended, I hosted a paint and sip party for my family and friends because... It was my birthday and so we ended up you know packing up our food and our drinks and we went way up north and um, we had a great time and I know my family and friends were not artists as a matter of fact I walked into the studio and told the guy if you can make me an artist you good and when we left my pain didn't totally suck <laughs> so what I realized was that at that time, there were no paint and sip studios on the south side of Chicago. And it was very costly and uh, difficult for us to find parking. And so that day in the studio, Deja Hue Art was born in my mind. Now, the problem was, I'm not an artist. I didn't know how to draw or paint. But, you know, in corporate America, I learned if you can't do something, you get a subject matter expert, right? So I said, I'll just hire an artist, let them paint, and I'll run the business. And so we did that. We attended the first party in March. Deja Hue opened the doors in October. 
Um, we started mobile, and we would set up and take down tables and chairs. It was that was fun, <laughs> and. Um, then uh, we had gotten so many requests for days where we didn't have a location and we didn't have, we just didn't have the facility that, you know, I took a leap of faith and I uh, searched for a spot and we, oh, we found one um, on the south side and we opened up in January. So like the track record is, I attended my first party in March, we started the business in October and we opened this location in January. And we have been in business, yeah, we have been in business for six years now. Um, and as I mentioned, I wasn't an artist, and I thought, like, that's cool. I'll just hire the artist until one day I showed up for a party, and the artist didn't. And I had left my phone at a party the night before, so I couldn't even call anybody for help. You know, I say God I always know how to set you up right. So... I had 22 women drinking wine, looking at me, saying, okay, artists, go. I became an artist in two hours. I literally learned to draw, paint, and show 22 drinking women how to do the same. Um, and I learned two things that day. First of all, I learned that in my business class, they told me you have to know every aspect of your business as an entrepreneur. Learned that lesson well. But the second thing I learned that day is that there was an artist in me all along. The reason I couldn't draw and paint previously was because that's the story that I told myself. But when my back was against the wall and I had to draw, paint, or give a refund, I learned to draw in two hours. <laughs> And thankfully, the, the pictures all came out well. The ladies had a good time. And then from that point on, I have practiced drawing and painting, and I can lead a class whenever I need to. That is super cool. Like, you just got up in the middle of an event and taught yourself to be an artist. Hey. I've never heard of anything like that. <laughs> that is so impressive and what you did was i would never thought like when you showed me the picture i didn't i thought it was like you just did that not it just came and just free flow and came out like that you know so i've attended many paint parties as you might imagine and so i've watched the artists and how they did it i just didn't know i could do it but I was sort of, my back was against the wall. I had no choice. That, well, I see you fall really well under pressure. Like, <laughs> that is amazing. I would have just. So listen, I wanted to cry. I reschedule. No, 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 no refund. Reschedule. Because I, I wouldn't know what, oh, man. Or I would have just, just did geometry that day. Some squares, some circles. It's abstract. There you go. Like, th that would have been me. I wanted to <laughs> cry. I literally wanted to cry. And I couldn't because I was on the never let them see you sweat, right? But literally when it was all over and I went home, I cried. I bet. <laughs> I bet. It's that stress pressure. Release. Yes. Yes. So outside of you being self-taught, because, I mean, clearly, as y'all saw, she, she self-taught. What else makes your business stand out? So it's interesting because when we first started Deja Yu, what set us apart was that there were no um, paint and sip studios on the south side of Chicago. Well, that was in 2015. Since then, um, you know, like everything else, it's, it, it's, a, commodity. it's a commodity now. Um, so what sets us apart now is two things. One, we try to have a lot of unique paintings. Um, the artists that work with me, they submit art, art that's unique and is created, you know, from their own mind instead of borrowing the same things that you'll see in other paint other painting sub studios but the other thing at this point we've been in business long enough to build a reputation and so people enjoy the personable attention that they get um, and not just from me but also from my staff when we first started I was at every party because I wanted to make sure everything went well that people had a good time but I soon realized that you can't really build a business when you have to be present in order to, to make money. 
And so um, I was able to, I've been blessed to get a really great team together and they understand the importance of taking care of the people in customer service. And so we get really great reviews and that's a lot of times when people haven't heard of us, that's the first thing they say, oh, we saw your reviews, you have great reviews. And so we make it a point to get first class service um, each and every time you come. So with that being said, what are some things that you've been doing to stay afloat during the pandemic? I know I can only imagine how like stressed you were when the pandemic <laughs> happened because people are so used to paint and sips being in person, having their wine right then and there. And it's like, okay, well, how do we do this? How do we keep this going? Now that the pandemic's here, we got to stay six feet apart and wear a mask and we can't touch the same things. We got to constantly wash our hands. So what are some things that you have been doing during this pandemic to keep Deja Hu out there? So it's interesting. Um, well, when, when the pandemic hit in March, they actually closed our doors. Everything was sheltered and we were all sheltered in. So Deja Hu, the doors were closed. Um, and we were able to pivot and do virtual paint parties where we actually put the kits together and we mail them out to your homes with brushes, paints, canvases, and then we meet up on a Zoom link and the artist leads you step by step through the process. But what is so interesting is that I actually had a vision for virtual paint parties two years ago. I was trying to figure out how to get paint parties into people's homes without them having to physically come into the studio, but the challenge was the technology. I couldn't figure out, actually, I was trying to do it on DVDs and people won't download, so I was a little behind in technology. But it's so interesting, in December of 2019, before the we knew about COVID-19, um, I had discovered Zoom. I was on a Zoom conference and, and it was like 80 people on there, and I'm like, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for. And so with my crew who I test things out on, um, we were, uh, I had already put together kits and had uh, sent, them, sent them through the mail the whole night, and we did a, a test run in February, and then in March is when, in Chicago, we were uh, sheltered in, in place. So we were already set up to do the virtual paint parties, thank God, um, that he had given me a vision about it even before the it happened. So the virtual paint parties have been key to keeping us afloat. Um, additionally, you know, when you have a little more time on your hands, although I've been busy during the pandemic, I, um, I actually completed my book. So um, the, t the title of my book is Just Because You Know It Doesn't Make It Right, and it's how to paint a prettier picture for your life and your business. And it basically takes you through the life of an artist and what they need to do, what they go through to create a masterpiece. And it, you can use that same process to transform any areas of your life, whether it's personal or business. And it's actually kind of a workbook, so you can uh, fill it in, and, and it has exercises in it, so you can go along with the artist throughout this process. Um, and so the the book goes along with uh, my coaching program, which also came about doing, <laughs> doing uh, COVID. Uh, we have the BYOB 12-step program. It's called the Build Your Own Business 12-step program. Not BYOB, not bring your own bottle, build your own <laughs> business. And basically we help uh, corporate entrepreneurs, especially African-American women in leadership roles who feel like they, their genius is diminished in corporate America, who feel like they're not heard, we help them to create and um, create the right mindset and a plan to transition into business ownership. So we help them turn their ideas into income and we show them how to transition without the fear of falling into bankruptcy because that's why we don't leave corporate America. We want to make sure we have enough to support our families. And so most people don't have a plan for that, but the BYOB 12-step program, it helps you create that plan. And we use art to help bring it all together. So at the core of everything we do, you know, there's art. 
I feel like I did a lot. And the, and, and the, the last thing that we've added, the most recent thing that we've added to the Deja Hu Art family of businesses is uh, Deja Hu Beyond Borders. Um, as I may have, may have mentioned before, our mission is to bring art to the masses. And so now we have Deja Hu art classes on digital download. And the goal is to be able to take that internationally. So where, no matter where you are in the world, if you have the internet, you can download a paint party. And you can do it in the, in the comfort of your own home. That is so cool. Like, I know we touched on that earlier, but I'm still amazed at that. Like... Can, is it okay? And I think other people want to know too. Like, can we be a little nosy about that? Like, yes. can we learn some more? I am really interested in that project. Absolutely. So, listen, we are very lucky because we're here in the studio, and my artist, who I have partnered with to do those classes, happens to be here as well. See, I picked a good thing. I think yes. we could twist her arm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's Get her do out it. here. Um, so her name is Chanel Romaine, and Chanel is a fabulous artist. She has been invaluable to me, helping me in the studio, especially before I learned how to draw and paint myself. Um, and she is uh, the, she's the artist that is leading you step by step through the process on the digital download. So I would love for her to come on and just share whatever she wants to share about the project and what how we work together. Yes, let's bring her on. I think it'd be really cool and very amazing because now you all get to see who you are working with when you come to Deja Hu. Even if you're afraid to be in the studio, you have the option. So it's no excuse not to paint. So now you are able to go to her website. You can download these amazing pieces. But the best part is because you watch this interview, you know the inside scoop about it. So let's bring her out. So for the first time ever, you all are witnessing a three-person interview from VP Ensemble. This is the first time. And what makes this so amazing is that we're about to talk about an amazing project that they are working on. Like, y'all don't want to miss this part. I'm super excited. And I'm so glad that you all are willing to share this with us. Because I know, like, you, I know earlier you were telling me, like, you put it out there, but haven't like fully announced it. So I feel special yes. that you are here with us today, both of you ladies, and you're going to tell us about this amazing project that we all are going to tune into your website and download. So Chanel, I want you to tell everyone who you are, what you do, and let's talk more about this project. Hey everyone, I'm Chanel Romaine. Um, I am an artist. Um, I'm the owner of Chanel Romaine Art, actually, and I am one of Kathy's artists. Um, one of her many artists for beyond well one of her artists her artists for beyond borders actually um and you want me to talk a little bit about beyond borders yeah, or, definitely. so beyond borders it is something that you definitely would love to i think it's something that everyone should um go ahead and sign up for first of all <laughs> i agree <laughs> but <laughs> no but um if you're looking to do something creative or something different online in the comfort of your own home or even your children, Beyond Borders is what you want to do. It is an online painting course. It is very relaxing. Um, I know that it's a stress reliever. They say that it, it actually increased the blood flow to the brain. Um, there are a lot of different scientific facts about art and how it helps us. And so I think it's a, a great opportunity to dive into something new if you've never done virtual painting. So would you say the pandemic inspired this? Because I mean, just what you're saying is a lot of what people have been feeling going through. And even though we're in the times that things are opening back up, businesses, we can travel more still, it's still a lot of stress, it's still a lot of pressure, it's still a lot of worrying. So would you say like the, like the virus have really help promote like this project that you all are working on? Definitely. Um, I know there's some people who are still worried about getting the virus, who are still worried about close contact. This is perfect, you know, um, and it's a great pivot, I think, on Kathy's part, okay? I, I admire her and her ability to keep going. She's like the Energizer Bunny. <laughs> she never stopped, and I love it. So to have that real life example, especially as another woman, you know, um, Listen, she's staying afloat, honey. And I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get there. Don't, don't let her fool you. She is a phenomenal artist. And together, this project, um, it, it's, 
it's been a project of love. You get to to work with someone who's really a phenomenal artist, and the both of us are in are in the class. So she leads the class, and I'm the student in the class because we want to give people an opportunity to experience the art no matter what level you're at. So if you're a trained professional, you can follow along with what Chanel is doing. And if you're a novice and you just want to paint just for stress release, um, like me, then you know you don't feel bad if yours is not up to what someone might say a trained artist would, would do. Um, so we give you both we give you all perspectives, as I like to say in the video, whether you are a seasoned pro or ordinary Joe, you can do well in Deja Hu Beyond Borders. Y'all, yeah. oh, I'm just saying, these rhymes that y'all have. <laughs> That's scary. Rhymes like, so we see about five, ten years what's going to be the next form of art with Deja Hu because it's just all flowing. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Yes. So this is like the future. I would say for Deja Hu, am I right? It's actually, it's the future and it's now. We are actually, we've actually filmed at least 10 classes. Yeah. They're up and running and ready to go today. So that means you all know where y'all need to go, right? But if not, I'm definitely going to make sure you got the website and everything because this is amazing. And please tell me, who, who else is doing this? I don't crickets, right? Nope. Right. I don't. I don't know who else is doing it. And the the unique thing about us is that we're not just doing vanilla paintings. We are doing the. We are uh, hosting the same classes that we will host here, and the art at Deja Hu. I would say ninety percent of it is all unique. Um, there's another 10% that people just like to do certain things, so we have to cater to our audience. But the classes that you will take, you will not find these paintings on anyone else's site. That's amazing. That's very unique, and that's the inspiration people need. You know, I mean, I think we're in a high time of creating things. Yes. Like a lot of people are creating businesses, but a lot of people don't realize the branding, the importance of the difference. You know, I know in business we are looking for something to in a sense mimic and change up but it's much more than that and if you all haven't seen already you all are the models to it like have you listened to what they've been saying like you are it, it's very important and i feel like we're losing that you know as a society we're losing the creativity the hard work the drive the you know just realizing how much time and effort it really takes to be an entrepreneur mm -hmm. so i completely applaud you ladies like seriously for the work that you are doing the the work that i can i can only imagine i mean i know as an entrepreneur we up late but i know y'all up late late like <laughs> <laughs> it's a different type of late because like y'all not just up but like this is a lot of creative creative work I wake up at night Right, you know, it's a lot of mental like energy with what you all are doing, and you all are killing it. And I just want to say thank you for sharing this with us, and congratulate you all because this is amazing. This is so amazing. So on those dark days, we just like, oh, why did I, why did I do this? Why? Oh my God, we had this. Like, just remember that you all are doing amazing <laughs> things that we need and the creativity that we need to inspire, to keep inspiring people, whether they're clients, customers, people who want to be coached by you, people who want work done by you. You all are really greatly and just genuinely inspiring a lot of people. Thank you. That was good to hear. Because <laughs> sometimes at night when you are up lonely and doing all of the, the little details that people don't see, yes. you need to know that yes. you're making an impact. Mm -hmm. So thank you, you for that. Definitely. And so are you. <laughs> Absolutely. Bringing us out here on your platform and sharing the information. It is an invaluable service, and we do we appreciate yeah, it. And I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just got a rope tuck in. <laughs> so, my last question: So, what what are some things that you all would inspire other entrepreneurs? Like, with everything you're doing, like I said, with the creativity, the hard work, like what for people, other artists. You know, like I said, we're in the time of creativity. A lot of people are stressed out. Some people are even burnt out. They're getting discouraged. So, what are some some key words or components or another rhyme that you all <laughs> <laughs> get my rap on? Who um, used to inspire those who are coming behind you in this industry? You want to take it yeah. first? Um, Gosh, 
it's a lot, but I'll, I'll say um, know your target audience. It is key. It'll save you on marketing costs. Um, okay. Yes. <laughs> It'll save you. Um, you really have to know. You don't have an endless amount of money to market. So you really want to know your target audience. You have to do research. Research, 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 baby. You got to research. <laughs> because you're not going to know otherwise who you're after. And then you also want to fulfill a need. You want to solve a problem. What problem are you solving? I love it. And for me, I would say you have to de-stress. You know, um, when I start my workshops, when I work with people with coaching, it's funny because they're expecting me to come with strategy right away. How can I do this? How can I do that? And the first thing we do is we paint because you cannot create from a stressed state of mind. So we have to relax. We have to realize that it is, you know, that's, that's the purpose of doing art. That's why we do it. And so we bring people to a relaxed state. And then we can start working on the right mindset because mostly it's there's fear. And I could go down a list, fear of failure, fear, fear of success, fear of uh, going bankrupt. You know, I could go down a list. But we can't be creative when we're in that state of mind. So we work on the mindset. We use art to help with the, uh, the calming of the, the spirit. And then we work on the strategies and put the fundamentals, the foundations that Chanel was speaking about into place. That's the strategy. You get the mindset, you get the strategy, and I think that's what's key for a successful entrepreneur. Yes. So remember, like, definitely take note and keep all of that. Because like I said, all of us as entrepreneurs, the things that you all talk about, we all feel it. There's no way to avoid it. You know, unfortunately, this is the picture that's not painted before, you know, entering into business. Even at corporate America, as you spoke about earlier, like these aren't the things that we're worried about. I mean, uh, we're warned about. We're just paint, you know, paint this glamorous picture and then walk in in a day, sometimes less than a day. We see that it's totally opposite. So that is really great advice. Instagram is live to everybody. <laughs> seriously, seriously, like, seriously. Everybody ain't a boss. Right. <laughs> Not overnight, for sure. No. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much for your time and this amazing, inspirational insight. So this is the time that you get a piece of paper and a pen and you write down the information because this is very vital, like what they're doing, as we talked about, it's amazing and it benefits you. They are here, they're being problem solvers to the people. Now, they're not in business for themselves or because it's just something that they just wanted free time and this is just something they found to do. They are really and truly passionate. They are truly passionate about impacting others, viewers, customers, clients who come into their studio. So definitely get a piece of paper and pen and write down that information. You know, pass it on to a loved one and use it for yourself because I know you will enjoy it. So you want to share your uh, social media information with us? So you can uh, get any information from us at Deja Hugh Art. Uh, for social media, you can visit our website, DejaHughArt.com. Um, obviously, we're on Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, and uh, you can also join me for Coffee and Conversation every Wednesday at 315 Central Standard Time on the Deja Hu Art Facebook page where we talk about everything business. And you can find me at Chanel Romaine um, on Instagram. Chanel with an S, Romaine, no E, <laughs> um, or ChanelRomaine.com. Nice. And as always, you will be able to find them at BP Ensemble. That's our Facebook, our Instagram, and our YouTube, all platforms, BP Ensemble. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here and just sharing this special project and your enlightenment and knowledge with your experience in entrepreneurship and just creating these amazing projects that this is that our society needs. Like I said, it's very important. I just thank you all for being the problem solvers. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having us on. Definitely. So thank you all for watching. As always, we truly appreciate you. We look forward to your support. And don't forget, you have time to support Deja Hue.